Hello, Tsama. Today I would like to talk about two things that I think you should never say in a relationship or actually in a friendship for that matter. I was just thinking about that because I've heard people say that quite a lot lately and actually in general. The two things I'm talking about are I love you, but and I'm sorry, but. <laughs> so the but is the problem. <laughs> Basically, if you say to someone, I love you, but no, 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 no. The but in that case is invalidating the I love you. So you're telling them, well, you know, I do, but da, 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 da. And the same thing, you want to apologize for something and you say, I'm sorry, but this and this and this. We all know it means that you're not actually really sorry because you are just about to find reasons as to why you're not actually sorry. Do you get that? I think it's more common for people to say, I love you, but that was not really cool that you did this, which we understand the right way. But subconsciously, I think we are not going to focus on the I love you or the I, I'm sorry part because the but does automatically invalidate or almost like delete anything that, that was said before. The attention automatically goes to the second part of the phrase where it's like people would either find an excuse or say what they're disappointed in. I catch myself sometimes saying it more so with, I love you, but da 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 da, -da instead of, you know, I'm sorry. Because if I know I did something wrong, I want to learn to just say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doing this. I'm sorry for hurting you. Instead of just saying I'm sorry, showing that I acknowledge that I actually hurt you, but then going back to the excuse or the explanation of why I did it for them to be like, okay, I can see that. And I think our society could get better at apologizing, me included. <laughs> and the same thing with I love you. If we want to learn to really deeply love, we should not say I love you, but because then it's like, I love you, but when you're like this, I don't love you anymore, which is a conditional love. And if we want to learn to love unconditionally, take the butt away. I mean, you know, <laughs> that so weird. So I try to train myself to actually say, I love you and you have been acting like an idiot lately was not cool. Or I love you and that was not okay what you did. Like that, I don't make the I love you dependent on a condition or you know, on, on something I would like to see in a person or not see in a person. Because I don't want to love the person for what they do or don't do, especially for me. You know, I'm not loving a person because they do things for me. I love them for who they are. That's why I love them always. Sometimes I do not like them in the moment because I'm disappointed, I'm hurt, I'm whatever. But then in that case, I still want to learn to say, I love you and it's not okay that you treat me like this. We can still state something like that. But if we say, I love you, but you've been an idiot, it just invalidates the first part. The same thing I said with, I'm sorry. If you want to learn to really apologize, never ever say, I'm sorry, but you were da 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 da, because then you're not really sorry. You're just giving a reason for as to why you did it. So let's try to learn to say, I'm sorry and da 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 da. I love you and da 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 da. That just for a little advice of the day. Bye bye.